Hello and welcome to another vlog of not being a PhD student. If you're new here, I used to do my PhD, but I then quit to pursue my passion of physics and machine learning, and this is what my January looked like. After the whirlwind of events that was the last year, I started January by giving myself permission to slow down. I went back home and spent time recharging, reading, and enjoying walks at the beach and in the forest. I'm a person who believes that taking proper breaks is vital for productivity. After my break, I headed back into the academic world for a two-week PhD school on physics and machine learning in Stockholm. Hello, I just landed in Stockholm. Um, it's very cold outside because it's January in Sweden. Part of me wants to go outside and explore. Part of me wants to take a nap. Part of me tells me that I should work. I don't know which part is going to win. <laughs> I was very fortunate that I could get this hotel reimbursed so I don't actually have to pay anything because I don't have an income. I am so excited for this school, it's going to be so much fun. The school was a perfect combination of lectures, coding homeworks and exploring the city. In a way, it also became part of my break. Listening to lectures is my happy place. And I had time to explore Stockholm, eat pastries, and I also went to a few different museums. My favorite was the Army Museum, which had an exhibition on Sweden and Ukraine. Also, during my stay, something unexpected happened. I got invited for an interview in Stockholm. So of course, while I'm at the school, I got invited to an interview. So now I'm skipping one of the lectures to meet with the person who had the job previously and ask him about his experience uh, and if I would make a good fit. And then I'm going to have the interview next week while I'm also attending this school. So. Great. Hi. So yesterday I met with the guy who had the position before me and he gave me a very realistic opinion about what the job was like and his career path, which was very nice. So my interview is scheduled in one week on Friday, so at the end of the school. So I'm trying to think about how to prepare myself for the interview and I'm also sending away a few other applications. So even if I'm at the school, I still have a lot of work to do. Luckily, all of the lectures are recorded, so I can always watch them in the evening if I happen to miss one. For the rest of the week, I continued to enjoy the school and the city, but soon it was time to head into my interview. I think it went well, but afterwards I tried to film myself to tell you about it, and I had a bit of an adrenaline rush, which made it difficult to talk. So instead, I'm just recording this voiceover. Basically, I think that it would be a good job, but I don't want to move from the Netherlands because of personal reasons. So I'm almost hoping that they will not hire me because then I don't have to make a difficult decision. The school soon came to an end and I headed back to the Netherlands. Back to Viking and back to my spot in the library. And now the grind begins again. I feel refreshed after spending time at the school and now I'm ready to get back on track. Funnily enough, I got invited to another interview. So of course I had to meet with another person. Hi, so I'm sitting in this like conference booth on campus. Um, and I just had a talk with a person who worked at the company that I'm being interviewed for tomorrow. And it's a bit strange because I don't really know what the role is about because this company does more engineering and basically everyone that um, they have hired have an engineering background and I have a theoretical physics background. So I'm not really sure what they want me to do in the company but i hope i can be useful somehow and that they hire me but yeah my interview is tomorrow so i'm trying to prepare a bit like what kind of questions they might ask me and make sure that i have a good answer and i'll let you know how it goes hi i just had my interview i think it went all right i'm always a bit shy and struggle a bit to talk during these interviews. I hope I did well enough that they continue with the interview process, but we'll see. Now I'm going to continue the afternoon with doing some work and then I'll go to the gym. As you know, I'm trying to stay active during this period. I work on both applications and things that give me energy, like research. I go to the gym and I make time for friends. Evenings are still for making food and watching some educational YouTube videos and winding down. I'm still in an uncertain and sometimes stressful situation, but as long as I keep learning and moving forward, I know I'm on the right 